Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create aliases in ProtonMail, a super useful feature for keeping your email organized if you are new to the term. And alias is basically an additional email addresses you can use with your existing ProtonMail account. You might want one alias for work, another for personal use, or even one for online shopping to keep things separate. I will show you two methods, one for the free plan and one for the premium plan. So let's get started. First, let's cover how to create an alias if you are on ProtonMail's free plan. Start by opening your browser and searching for ProtonMail. Click on the first result to head to their website. Once you are there, hit the sign in button and enter your email and password to log in. After you are logging, look at the top right corner of the screen. You will see your profile icon. Click on it and drop down menu will appear. From there, select switch or add account. Now, here is a trick. To create an alias on the free plan, you will need to add a completely new ProtonMail account as a secondary account. Make sure you have already created this second account beforehand. Because the free plan does not let you create aliases directly once you add the new account, you can switch between them easily using each one as a pseudo alias for different purposes. Just a head up, space is limited on the free plan, so choose your account wisely. Now let's move on to the premium plan. We are creating aliases is much more straightforward. Once you are logged into your ProtonMail account, head to the settings. You can find this by clicking settings at the top of the screen and selecting all settings from the drop down. On the left hand side, look for the selection labeled identity and addresses. Click on that. Here you will see an option to get more addresses or add an alias directly. Since I'm on a free plan, I can't show you the exact interface, but it is pretty simple. If you have a premium account, just type in the alias name that suits your needs like work.john or shopping.gen and click add. After creating your alias, you can manage it from the same section. You'll be able to set which alias to use as your default. When sending emails or even delete aliases, you no longer need. It is fast, easy process that gives you a lot of flexibility. So why bother with aliases? They are great for keeping your inbox organized and protecting your privacy. For example, you can use one alias for signing up to newsletters and another for personal communication. So you never mix things up. Plus, if an alias starts getting spam, you can delete it without affecting your main account. It is a smart way to stay in control of your email experience, whether you are on the free or premium plan. And that's it. Now you know how to create aliases in ProtonMail. Whether you are using the free plan's workaround or the premium plan's direct method, aliases can really help you manage your emails better. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Have you tried using aliases in ProtonMail? Let me know in the comments.